morning guys um, today we are on <laughs> the lower end of the Tully I haven't fished for two weeks just been so busy working and uh, just doing stuff I haven't been able to get out so <clears throat> um, and plus we've had rain again too and high water everywhere it's still high again that's <laughs> we've been singing that song all of 2018 for Pennsylvania so um, I am about I'm on the Tully I'm about four miles down. This is the lowest end of the Tully, okay? Not many guys fish down here. Why, I don't know. There's still a decent amount of fish. And um, what I want to work on today is I'm just going to fish my big nymph, my big successful nymph this past year, the Isonychia, okay? And I am going to throw out a golden stone with it as like an attractor nymph. But uh, it's not an attractor nymph. It's a realistic looking nymph, but you know, big and yellow kind of kind of covers both areas, being an attractor and being a realistic looking nymph. And I uh, just want to show you guys, uh, try to, try to, um, I, like years ago, and for many years, I used to fish small, 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 midge pupas, size 20, 22, pheasant tails, um, everything, even everything was kind of on the small side, shrimps, during the winter time, I would, I would I would use big stuff too, but a lot of times those fish bought on the, bit on the small stuff, and um, so I want to focus now on bigger stuff, showing you how, um, you know, sometimes going big is good too, and um, I had a couple of my videos last year and the year before where I was using either the mop fly or a glow bug, and I'd catch some fish on it, but you now some guys ask me how come I'm always. It's not, there, there's nothing in here to me as a secret. I've learned everything from somebody else or read it. And um, I like to share the knowledge. I like to see other guys catch stuff. And when it comes to flies, things I have used in the past aren't as effective. I used to catch tons of fish on the glow bug. Now I catch just some. Um, same thing when like George Daniels first had his dynamic nymphing book out, I used to catch tons of fish on the Frenchie and the catnip. Now I don't catch as much. Um, maybe because I'm using other flies, I still use those and I still do catch fish on them, but not the amount I did the first two, three years uh, that I started using them. Um, but a lot of times, um, as far as like the glow bug, I would use it just as an attractor, but I still occasionally catch fish on it, but not the amount that I used to catch. So I like to, I don't know if more and more guys are using them just because they're in my video, but I like the idea that every year it seems to be another fly or two that comes out that seems to be the hot fly, and it's effective, and you're learning, you know, it puts a little bit, a couple more arrows in your quiver, a couple more uh, things that you can choose that is an effective fly, and uh, I mean, still the old standbys of a pheasant tail, a hare's ear, a prince nymph, you know, a, a squirmy wormy, um, uh, woolly buggers and stuff like that. They're they're all good uh, Still like the the go-to flies for any stream probably across the whole United States, but it's nice having um, A new fly or trying things that are different that turn out to be successful and uh, if they turn out to be successful for a year or two or three and They're always going to you're going to catch fish on them, but it's it's just nice finding out like hey this new pattern works and this one's been hitting for me and I don't know I don't mind sharing that at all so um, so we're gonna get started here show you the crick here it is 27 degrees this morning okay I am bundled up I my fanny pack is back there on the rocks you can see my nut there I don't know if you can see it with the camera but um down here the lower Tully this is deep deep water much deeper than up because you know as all streams as you go downstream it gets the volume gets more and more and um, the flow today is around 330 340 and you you just got to be careful down here much more careful uh, you got to put use a little bit more weight although there's you know there's snags down here too just like there is everywhere else but down here if you get into a snag <laughs> it gets pretty deep and you might not be able to get it out so up top you get a snag I can usually walk over and get it so um, okay I'm gonna put you on my hat here like always like I always say show you my first couple casts and uh, let's get started here today okay uh, when I turn you around I'll show you what I'm using okay okay off for you. 
Okay, here we got Ma Osanikia. Okay, that's a size 12, 3x long. Okay, and then I have a golden stone. Okay, my golden, I get that away from my thumb. My golden stone. I have very similar tie, very similar tie to my Isonychia. You know, I don't use, um, I don't use ostrich hurl around the abdomen for gills, and I use a fork tail and fork antenna instead of the ostrich tail. Um, but it's just basically a different color. But I'm using a big um, one eighth ounce um, or one eighth size uh, tungsten bead head on that, besides having the lead wraps in it, and. Um, my Sinichia has, oh, what's that, about 30, 40 lead wraps in it. So they're both heavy. I'm not using a split shot. Although, like I said, this is deep water. This is a good three foot deep, maybe even more. So, I, but I still don't think I need a split shot. So, I'll show you my first couple casts. And um, last time I was down here about a month ago, it did really, really well. So... Let's see what happens here with these big nymphs. Big nymph day today. Okay. And I was the two weeks ago when I was down here, uh, not down here, but I was when I was on the Tully. I have a bunch of clips from that catching fish on the ice in Ikea. I'll try to include that in um, this video. Oh, there goes that big blue heron. <laughs> um, let's get up here. Get out there. I got two hits on the swing down here, so I'm gonna try to get this on film for you. We'll see. Get this on film. Pretty far out there. Long distance nymphing. Oh, that was maybe a hit. I didn't set the hook though. Wasn't ready for it. Let's try this swing though. There he goes. There he goes. Ha ha. How about that? Let's see what this guy's on. Um, said I had two hits down there on the swing. And this guy is on the Isonychia. Like that dark colored one. Uh, not a big guy. Maybe about nine inches. Nine, ten. Okay. Okay. Ice cream roll. Okay. Woohoo. Okay. Okay, guys, I changed my rig up and <laughs> I put on the glow bug. I took off the, um, I took off the uh, golden stone, but I still got the ISO on, but I got this guy on the glow bug. Oh, nice one. 11 12 incher rainbow, huh? Uh -oh. Ooh. 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 So that glow bug, pink glow bug, has got a tungsten gold bead in it. I guess still got a split shot above it to make that thing sink as quick as possible. And I got my ISO on behind it. Oh, there's a muskrat over there. See, oh, there he goes, running down to the, ha, up on the grass. That's the jogging path over there. Well, you don't usually see muskrats out during the daytime. <laughs> Pretty cool. Usually on the Tully, the last five, six years, I've been seeing a lot of mink. I think that's probably the first time I ever saw a muskrat on the Tully. Hey guys, I'm on the other side of the bridge now. And um, 
These hits are coming few and far between. That's why I can't get them on film for you. But uh, <clears throat> this one on the ice of Nikki again. Ice and Nikki is doing it today. Big, big size 12. There you go. Doing good here above the bridge. It was pretty good this one. On the Isonikia. On the Isonikia. Okay. Nice. Nice rainbow. Beautiful. Look at that ISO. Sticking right out of his mouth. There you go. Nice one. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Woohoo! The 12 inches. Okay, guys. Got one here. And. It is on. Oh, can't see it yet. On the ice and is it the ISO? Uh, no, this is on the glow bug. On the glow bug. Okay, that's the rainbow. At 11, 12 inches. Okay. Fishy. Oh, there he goes on the swing, and he whacked it on the swing. Man, I can't believe that. He really whacked it. Let's see what this guy's on. Feels like a decent fish. Nice rainbow. On the glow bug again! <laughs> well, <laughs> if not the glow bug, then the Isonychia. It's okay. It's okay. This will be the glow bug Isonychia video. <laughs> there we go. Nice rainbow. Oh, good 13. Good 13 inches fat. Hey guys, pick this one up on the swing too. Okay, amazing how many fish I catch on the swing. Most guys give up on their drift. I Man, I let that thing go down, and so many fish get I hit on the swing. And this is on the ice of Nikki. Uh... Okay. Nice rainbow. Oh, good 11. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. That was on the ISO. I think. Not too sure. I don't know if I only got two on the ISO or three and three. I only landed six so far. But uh only got about an hour left of fishing. So let's see if we can pick up a few more. 
See if we can take this boy on the swing. Come on, right there. Man, I never give up. Like I said, even at the end of my drift, I'll let it hang there for five, ten seconds. Just let it hang there. Just being actually lazy. Let it hang. And then, flick it upstream. Make sure you bring in that slack line. So you don't get any drag. Nice straight line right down to your flies. Oh, here he goes again on the swing. Unbelievable. Look at that. <laughs> that just amazes me. <laughs> it must be... It must be... The, um... Uh, like, the nymph must be down deep and then swinging up top. Maybe it looks like it's emerging. I don't know, but man, I catch so many fish on the swing. And this is on the Isoniki again. Isoniki again. Bring him in. Okay, nice rainbow. This one's a good 12, 13 inch. Oh, good 13 inches. Nice and fat. Look at that. Wow. Uh oh. Ergo. Uh oh. Oh, cool. Okay. He didn't take my fly. Just came right out the end there. Cool. Okay. Okay, guys. Move my spot. A little noisier. But, got some fish here too. And this is on Isonikia. Looks like a nice rainbow. Okay, how about that? Nice rainbow. Okay. That ice and Nicky is. Man, that baby just catches fish summer or winter. Ha! There we go. Beautiful. 13 inches at least. Nice. Hey guys. Fishing the edge. Edges of this fast water. Got a nice one on here. I think he's on the soft, I mean the, um, he's on the ice and Nikia. Trying to force him up here. Man, I don't want him to get into that. Oh, he's on the tail. Ah, whatever. Okay, let's get him up. Get him up here. Let's get him up here. Oh. Okay. All right, yeah, nice brownie. 12, 13, 13 inches at least, nice. Okay, there we go, woohoo! Catching them, hooked up, flows back up to 500. It was 450 this morning, and now it's 500. And uh, I don't know what this guy's on. Looks like he's on the glow bug. He is on the glow bug. <laughs> First one in glow bug in a long time. Oh no, he's not. I thought he was on the glow bug. He's on the uh, Isonikia. Huh. Okay, here we go. Nice. Nice one on the ice. Uh, nice. Get 12, 13 inch brownie. nice just fishing on the edges just fishing the edges okay guys this is the 
the third one I just had on in like 10 cast. So hopefully I keep this guy on. Okay. Come on, stay on. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, nice fish. Super nice fish. I don't know if it's a brownie or a rainbow yet, though. Kind of looked like he was about 14, 15 inches. Come on, buddy. Fighting good. I got 4X on still. Oh, oh. Ooh, ah. Don't know. I want to say it's a rainbow, but I'm not 100% sure yet. Last time I said I thought it was on a glow bug, it was on the Isonychia. But this time really does look like it's on the glow bug, because I don't see the glow bug, so it's got to be in his mouth. Okay. Nice. Beautiful fish. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. He is strong. He is strong. Let's take him away from those sticks right there in the water. Okay. Let's get him up. Nice fish. Nice fish. Look at that, boy. Oh, there you go. Oh, solid. Whew, solid 16. Solid 16 inches. Chew wee. Look at that. Wow. Wow wee. Look at that, guys. Shoo. Beautiful. Solid 16 inches. Gorgeous, gorgeous fish. Okay, let me get them off. <laughs> hey, guys. I'm down at Paper Mill. I was on the phone, and while I was on the phone, <laughs> I uh, caught a fish. Uh, nice rainbow with an isonychia. There you go. Good. Good 11, 12 incher. There you go. Okay. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Look at all those dots. <laughs> okay. Hello. Okay. Hello. Hey guys, picked up another one here, and I think this is on the Isonychia also. Yep. Yep, 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 look at that. There you go. Oh, a nice rainbow. Isonychia, there you go, man. Gotta love that nymph. Hard to release a fish with these mitt mittens on. <laughs> Hey guys, got this one. First one in the middle of the swing. 
I mean in the middle of my drift so maybe we can hold on to this guy here and this one is on the ice on Nikki uh, okay ice on the ice on Nikki big ice on Nikki is sticking out of his mouth nice rainbow Whoa. 13, 14 inches. Nice, big, fat, shiny. Those fight. They are full of life. Okay. This is on the Isa Nikki again. <laughs> that Isa Nikki is just awesome. That's my new favorite fly. Look at that. Big Isa Nikki right there. Another nice one. Good 13. Good 13 inches. Wow, wait. Oh, that already came out all by himself. <laughs> huh? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. I hit this guy on the swing and this guy is just man it feels like a carp I don't know what it is it just took me all the way across stream oh my gosh I don't know if I can keep up with him or not he is just heavy I don't know if it's a carp or one of these selective fish, but man, I gotta go down with them. Oh man, uh, I gotta go down with them. Uh, this is, uh, he's coming over to me. Keep him over here, it's not as, oh my gosh. This way, I don't want him to go around that rock. Oh, I gotta go. Oh, nuts. He's around that rock. Gotta get it on the other side of it. Come on, get on the other side. Good, I'm on the other side of it. Whew. Man, he's just going for the rocks. Oh, man, he's on the other side of that rock now. Oh, no. I don't know. I gotta let some slack line so he could take it. Oh, nuts. I can't get over there. Maybe I can roll cast it over there. Oh, nuts. Oh, nuts. I don't know. Nuts, nuts, nuts. He's not pulling on it, so I don't know. Ah. 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 He's around that rock. Ah. Now I'm getting in the deep water here. This is... Oh, come on, fishy. I don't even know if he's still on there. Feels like he is, but... Oh, good God, I can't believe what I'm doing. Get over there. Get over there. Oh, there he is. Okay, there he is. Ugh. He's against that bank over there. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh, if I get this fish in, he is against that bank. Oh, that's a smart fish. Oh, man. I can't believe I'm still on him. 
Oh no, now there's logs. I mean, there's a tree down there. I gotta get underneath that tree. Oh my God, that fish is just, oh, come on fish. I gotta get him back on the reel. Get him back on the reel. Okay. Oh my gosh. He is just, come on over here fish. He is fighting like a carp though. I don't know what it is. Oh my gosh, he's just going downstream. And I'm already 100 yards downstream from where I caught him. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Oh, I can't even keep up with him. I hope he's not foul hawk. I don't even know. But he is heavy. Whatever he is, he is heavy. I can't get him. Oh, oh he came off. Ah, oh. <laughs> oh, you bugger. Ah. how big he was or whatever but he was big but he hit it on the swing I don't know if he broke my line or it just came off let's see good golly ah. Ah, wow see him see my flies there so I think he broke but he was he rubbed up against a couple of trees he broke everything <laughs> well, we'll never know. We'll never know, we'll never know. That was 4X, but man, he rubbed against two big rocks, went underneath the, the vines and up against the bank air, and now, what do you do? Well, I don't know. <laughs> right. Oh well, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> okay.